Here, let us see some of Euclid's axioms. One of them is things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Let us try and understand this through an example. Let us take A and B. These are the two things. They are equal to one thing. Let us take that as C. Now, if A equals C and B equals C, then A equals B. This is exactly what this axiom says. Another one is, if equals are added to equals, the holes are equal. Now, how do we understand this one? Now, let us take, say for example, 2 equals 2 and 3 equals 3. Now, 2 plus 3, that means add these and add these. And here we are, 2 plus 3 equals 2 plus 3. So, 5 equals 5. So, the holes are equal. That's what the second axiom says. Now, similarly, if equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. That is, say, again, let's take the same example. 2 equals 2 and 3 equals 3. So now take 2 and 3, subtract them. Take this 2 and 3 and subtract them. 2 minus 3 equals minus 1. And 2 minus 3 is again equal to minus 1. So both the remainders are equal. So this is what this axiom of Euclid says. Another important axiom, but a very simple axiom, the whole is greater than the part. Let us understand this one. Let us take a number 5 and let us split it into two parts, say 3 plus 2. So obviously 5 is greater than 3, which is a part of 5. 5 is greater than 2 also, which is a part of 5. So this is what this axiom of Euclid says. And these are the most important axioms of Euclid's.